Free your spirit, free your mind. Let your soul hear it, your light will shine. Pastor A.D. Nichols, the ambassador of wisdom, is coming to you in just about 40 seconds. We're hoping that you will open up the mail that's about to be delivered. One of the hardest working women in gospel. That's Pastor A.V. Nichols, an outreach pastor, reaching out through Facebook, reaching out through every means necessary to turn you on to Jesus. So let's get ready. Take some minutes out of your day so the words of wisdom will make a better way. And now, Pastor Ava E. Nichols. Hello, welcome back. My name is Ava Nichols. We've been reading a psalm a day. Today, we've been reading, we, well, in the past few days, we've been reading several days. We've been reading Psalms 119. We have to break it out in several parts. Today, we're going to uh, read part 15 of Psalm 119. And um, then we'll elaborate on the scriptures as much time as we have allowed. David, he wrote majority of the, the Psalms. Amen. And David was the youngest son of Jesse of Bethlehem. Also, David was a warrior. He was a music musician. Also, he was a uh, shepherd. Amen. He did defend the flocks. He developed his skills, his fighting skills, uh, fighting, defending the, the sheep uh, against the wild animals. And also, in his quieter times, he did play, he developed his uh, musical skills, uh, taught himself how to play the flute and the harp. Amen. He did uh, join forces with Saul to defend the Philistines. He convinced Saul that he could defend him. He was chosen of God as well. So you need to read about David, and you can start in 1 Samuel. And then also you need to read the entire book. I do recommend you read the entire book of Psalms. Amen. Uh, Psalms has been an inspiration to my life, and it will be the same for you. Um, God get, I would ask the Lord for a word, and he would give me a psalm. Amen. Uh, God may use you differently. He may give you a, a something else in the Bible. All the Bible is good, but he, he blessed me. Psalms is something for every, for any situation you're going through. There's Hebrew, there is uh, <clears throat> poetry, there's praises, there's, there's uh, prayers, there's all type of um, scriptures and verses that will help you in, uh, through your challenges and whatever you're needing. Amen. There's songs and the Hebrew, the the the, poet, the poems, amen, is in Psalms as well. It, it's not the regular poems because it's Hebrew poems. They did not rhyme, but the, but the Psalms is very beautiful. So we're going to get started. We're reading, uh, starting at verse, excuse me, 149 of Psalm 119. Amen. It reads, Hear my voice according to your loving kindness, O Lord, quicken me according to your judgment. They draw near that follow after mischief. They are far from your law. You are near, O Lord, and all your com commandments are truth. Concerning your testimonies, I have known of old that you have founded them forever. Consider my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and deliver me, quicken me according to your word, Salvation is far from the wicked, for they see not your statutes. Great are your, your, excuse me, your tender mercies, O Lord. Quicken me according to your judgments. Many are my persecutors and my enemies, yet do I not decline from your testimonies. I beheld the transgressors and was grieved because they kept not your word. Amen. Thank God for the blessed reading of the beautiful, blessed, anointed word of God. Amen. We're going to elaborate and start with uh, Psalm 149. David, he talked to God a lot. Amen. And, and David was running for his life daily. He was forced to become an outlaw because of Saul's jealousy. And Saul was king at that time. And he didn't understand why did Saul turn his back on him. Why did he become jealous of him? But <clears throat> it happened. And Saul, you have to read about Saul. Verse 149, hear my voice according to your loving kindness. O Lord, quicken me according to your judgment. 
And what he was doing is asking the psalmist was saying, Lord, help, hear my voice according to your love, to your loving kindness. Hear my voice. Amen. And also he was asking him, asking the Lord to renew him, also revive him, O Lord, according to your ordinances, according to your own judgment. Amen. Verse 150. And a lot of times we need reviving. We can talk to God and ask the Lord, Lord, hear me. Hear me out, Lord. I need your help. Revive me. Renew me, Lord. And we can pray that. And we can ask the Lord for that as well. They draw near that follow after mischief. They are far from your law. And so he's saying, Lord, those that f that's following after wickedness and those are the evil ones that, that were even after him, um, he was saying, Lord, they are far from your law. So he didn't understand, Lord, why are, is this happening? Why are you, I need you, I need some reviving. Uh, because these people, they don't even follow your law. And they're, and, and they're not even, they're, they follow after wickedness. And they draw near. And they're far from the, the law, the, the word of God. Amen. You are near, O Lord, and all your commandments are true. And he's telling the Lord, Lord, you are, you're right here. He said, you are near, O Lord, and all your commandments are true. Amen. And then verse 50, 152, it reads, Concerning your testimonies, I have known of old that you have founded them forever. And he said, Lord, all your words that has been spoken, he said, Lord, I've known them. He said, and you founded them. He said, I know they're founded forever. Amen. So he just said, Lord, long ago I learned from your rules and your laws that you made them to continue forever. And so that's what, uh, that's another wording, uh, what um, explanation of what he's saying that long time ago, he said he learned about your rules. He learned about your laws. He learned about God's laws. That God, he, he made them to continue and his word last forever. 153. It reads, consider my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. And so he said, Lord, just consider what I'm going through. See what my suffering, see what I'm going through. And rescue me because I have not forgotten your teachings. Even though, God, I'm going through this, Lord, I'm still believing what you have, that I've I still believe you. I, I still uh, have not forgotten your teachings, your law, your ordinances. I have not. So, Lord, please consider what I'm going through. See what I'm going through. My suffering and rescue me because I still believe your word. Amen. I have, it's hidden in my heart. You have to understand that David, he was running. He was running for his life, and he did not understand. 154. Plead my cause and deliver me, quicken me according to your word. So he just said, Lord, just plead my case and just save me, Lord. Just help me. Let me, uh, you know, I want to live for you, Lord. He said, so Lord, just, just get my case. Get me out of the situation that I'm in. You know, I don't know the reason why Saul and his troops are after me. He said, but God, just plead my case. Argue my case. Do something. Just save me out of this, out of this that I'm in. And let, and because I want to go in, I want to obey you and live your, do what you say, you know, obey your laws. 154, 155, salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not your statutes. And, and he's saying that salvation is not there, they're so far from it because they're wicked people. And for they seek not your decrees. They, they do not, um, they're far from being saved and also because they do not want your demands. They don't, they don't even want, uh, believe in Christ. They don't even believe in God. So, he was saying, God, they don't even want, want to hear anything about your word. And they're far from being saved. 156. Great are your tender mercies, O Lord. Quicken me according to your judgments. And he said, Lord, your tender mercies, uh, you're very kind, and you've, you've given me life through your word. Amen. 157. Many of my persecutors and my enemies, yet do I not decline from your testimonies. He said, Lord, I have so many people, so many enemies that are after me. 
He said, but I still do not forsake or turn aside uh, your, your rules, your testimonies, what your word is saying. He said, I still have not rejected your word. Amen. Through his, all through his, his challenges and his, his trials, he still trusted God. He still had not rejected God's word. He still believed. He didn't turn his back on God. Amen. 158, I beheld the transgressions and was, and was grieved because they kept not your word. He said, Lord, I haven't seen the traitors. I've seen those traitors, those people that, that they, were, they were for you, but they, tra they, they were traitors. And he said, I hate them because they do not obey what you say. He said, I dislike what they, they do. He said, I, I don't, um, he said, I do not, um, um, they, don't ha they do not believe your word. They do not keep your word. Amen. We thank you so much for, for tuning in. If you haven't accepted Christ, first you need to repent. Let the Lord know you're sorry. Go to Romans 10, 9. Confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord. We'd like to thank you for paying attention because in a minute we won't be able to afford free speech. Ambassador Ava E. Nichols, Pastor Ava E. Nichols of Body of Christ Outreach Ministry. We'd like to thank you for sharing this time with us. If you got any questions or if you need prayer, 702-505-9697 or email Ava Nichols, the number one at yahoo.com. You can find us on YouTube, Unknown Soldier 8, that's U-N-K-N-O-W-N-S-O-U-L. Soul.biz. Thank you. We love you.